<laughs> okay. So, hello, I'm Sonia, I'm 18 years old, and I live in Seville, Spain, where I'm studying physics at university. In this presentation, I'll be showing you some 3D photos that I've made this year during my trip through different places of Spain. And you will see that Spain is a very diverse country with lots of different landscapes and cultures. So, as I've said, I live here in Spain, more specifically in Seville, which is the capital city of the autonomous community of Andalusia and one of the largest city, cities in the country. First of all, how do I make all my stereos? Well, I started with stereoscopy a year ago. Mm, a couple of years ago during the lockdown, I created my Instagram account, but it wasn't meant to be a photography account. However, since I'm a very big fan of Brian May, I saw the stereos that he posts on Instagram and I got interested in them. So I thought it would be a good idea to make my own ones and post them on Instagram. Um, so I'm quite new at making stereos and I make all my photos just with the phone. I usually take lots of shots from different perspectives and then choose the best pair. Then I use an app called Stereo Photo Maker so as to align the two pictures and then I put them together and adjust the stereo window and everything using Photoshop, but everything just with the phone. So I'm going to start with some photos of Seville, which is the city where I live. It is situated on the lower reaches of the river Guadalquivir, and it is the largest city in Andalusia and the fourth largest city in Spain. Its old town has an area of over four square kilometers, and it has three UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Mm, um, I'm going to show you some of the most representative places of the city. Mm, this is considered the most famous monument here in Seville. It is called the Giralda, and it is the bell tower of the cathedral. It was originally built as the minaret of the Great Mosque of Seville during the Al-Andalus period, and later it was turned into a cathedral by the Catholics. And I took this photo at night, so we can see the illumination of the monument too. This is the Tower of Gold, another of the most famous monuments here in Seville, and it was built in the 12th century. This is a modern wooden structure, which is known as the mushrooms in English, and you can climb it too and get spectacular views of the city, such as this. I took this photo from the top of the mushrooms. We can see the Giralda, the cathedral, and some of the most famous monuments here. And finally, these are some photos of the Plaza de España, which is called Spain Square in English. It was designed in 1929 for the Ibero-American Exposition, and it is framed in Maria Luisa Park. Um, this is one of the two towers that we can find there. This is another photo of the same square. It is surrounded by a river and it has a lot of a lot of bridges. And as you can see, Seville is a very beautiful city with lots of ancient monuments and historic buildings. Okay, so now I'm going to start with the photos of my journey. This summer, I've been to the Pyrenees, which is the mountain range straddling the border of France and Spain. And I have traveled by car, so not only have I been to the Pyrenees, but also to other places and famous cities in Spain. I started my journey in Campo de Criptana, which is a town located in the province of Ciudad Real in Castilla-La Mancha. And it is found in a region known as La Mancha, which is just in the middle of the country. And the main attractions here are the windmills. So these are some stereos that I took of them. It is said that the well-known writer Cervantes was inspired by them when he wrote his famous book, Don Quixote. And nowadays there are 10 
windmills and three of them date back to the 16th century. And I took this one too at the sunset. It is very popular to visit the windmills to watch the sunset because you can take very beautiful pictures with this landscape. Okay, then we went to Teruel, which is another Spanish province, and we visited Mas de Buñol, which is a vultures reserve where hundreds of vultures are fed every day. And this was the landscape that we could see through the window of the hotel. It is a very big mountain, so the two photos are separated a few meters. We also visited Val de Robres, which is a beautiful near medieval town. And I took these two pictures. In this one, we can see some houses, the bridge, and the castle in the background. And this is the river that flows through the town. I really like the depth effects created by the reflections in the water. We continued our trip and we arrived to a spot, which is a small town located at the gates of Aguas Tortes National Park in the Pyrenees. I took this photo of the Paris church of the town, where we can see the typical Pyrenean architecture. And as I've said, it was near Aguas Tortes, which is the only national park in Catalonia and one of the most beautiful ones in the country. There are mountains of more than 3,000 meters and lots of rivers, lakes, and waterfalls. This is a photo of the park. And as you can see, there were lots of trees and it was a very unspoiled place. And this is a photo taken in St. Maurice Lake, the largest and most stunning of the almost 200 lakes that are in this national park. And I had to walk some meters to take the two photos as well. Then we visited Torla, which is a small community of just over 200 inhabitants located in the Spanish Pyrenees as well, and providing the gateway to Ordesa National Park. This is a photo of the church, and in the background we can see a small part of the sheer walls of this national park. And this is a typical house of this town. Well, Irati Forest was our last destination in the Pyrenees. It is located in the north of Navarra and also in some land of France. It has an area of over 17,000 acres and is considered by many 
as the second largest forest of beech and spruce trees and one of the best preserved in Europe. I took these photos there. In this one, I had to use two phones at the same time. I made a video with each, with each phone and then I took the same frame on both videos so that the position on the water is almost the same. And these are some photos that I took while I was hiking. I really like the effect that the trees make here because they look like a kind of a door as well as in this one. And this is the last one. Okay, Olite is a small town located in the province of Navarra as well. It is known for its Gothic castle and its medieval streets, and it has a lot of history. For such a small town, there is a lot to do and see there. And these are some photos of the castle known as the Royal Palace of Olite, which in the past was the palace of the kings of Navarra. This is the same castle. I took all the photos from the top of some of the towers of the castle. And this is the last one. And finally, I'm going to show you um, two of the most famous cities here in Spain. The first one is Segovia, which is located in the autonomous community of Castilla y León, and it is the capital city, uh, the capital of the province of Segovia. The city is famous for its historic buildings and especially its Roman aqueduct, which is one of the best preserved Roman aqueducts in Europe and the symbol of the city. A curious fact is that the stones are not joined by anything, but they have been together for about 2000 years. This is the same monument. I took this photo at the sunset and from the top of a uh, lookout. Here we can see the cathedral and a big part of the city. I took this one from the top of this castle. This is the Alcázar of Segovia, which is a medieval castle built on a rocky crag um, with, a with a shape similar to the bow of a ship. And it was originally built in the 11th or 12th century. And nowadays it's become a museum. This is the same castle, but from another perspective. In this case, it was very far uh, with a lot of trees in the middle. So the photos are separated about mm, 20 meters, more or less. And finally, the last destination, Avila. 
Avila is a city located in the same autonomous community as Segovia, which is Castilla León. It is also a very beautiful city and historic too. It is distinctly known by its medieval walls. The main landmark in the city is the walls of Avila built between the 11th and 14th centuries. And this is a kind of a door to enter the center of the city. The walls have a perimeter of about 2,500 meters, more or less. And they have 88 towers like this that we can see in the picture. And it is even possible to walk upon them. Here we can also see the cathedral. And finally, this is a religious monument where there's a lookout with the spectacular views of the city and the world. And this is my last photo. Thank you all for listening. It was a pleasure being here today. I hope you liked my stereos and learned a bit more about Spain, which is full of beautiful and unspoiled places and cities. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks.